Hello, welcome back to the channel. And today I thought I would continue my solar journey by showing you the Jinlong Solace Cloud app. So as you've seen from my previous videos, I have a Solace 5 kilowatt hybrid inverter. <laughs> And this is the app that um, goes with it. So this is where um, I get all my data from. Um, and as far as I can tell, it's very similar to any other app that other companies make uh, for monitoring their own inverters. So once you um, open the app, you come to this overview page, which tells, tells you your yield today. So mine was 14.3 kilowatt hours. The yield this month, the, year, uh, the yearly yield, so I've just Come, uh, gone over a megawatt hour and the total yield. Below that you have this little diagram which shows your current power. I'm filming this at nine o'clock at night so currently no solar power being generated and the capacity so I have those 12 panels which produces or can produce 4.65 kilowatts and this then shows your percentage of your total capacity that you are making. Then there's a couple of uh, things that I'm not entirely or a thing that I'm not entirely sure about, which is this full load hours ranking. But underneath that, you have the exp um, environmental benefits, which um, converts how much CO2 you've saved. So I've saved just over a ton into the equivalent trees planted. So the page that I use most of is this plant page. Go into this, and if you had multiple different solar uh, system, solar panel systems, um, you'd have them all linked here. I only have one, which I've called solar panels. I can click on that, and this is the uh, diagram that you see on most um, apps. And it's a diagram that shows you where your power is coming from. So you can see in the top left, this is the solar. So we're getting zero solar power at the moment. Top right is from the grid when using no grid energy at the moment. Um, and then at the bottom, we've got the battery. So the battery is 66% charged and it's currently putting out uh, 0.169 kilowatts, which is power in the house, which is in the bottom right. It also gives you a little bit of information about uh, the total yield from the solar panel, the total input, so from the grid, so the import today was 0.13 kilowatt hours, export uh, 8.44, so for November we've had quite a bit of sun today. Um, in the bottom right we have the total consumption by the house, which is just under 6 kilowatt hours, and uh, over to this left hand side we have the battery charging and discharging today. Um, below this, you get this uh, effectively um, diagram that shows out of what your generation was again, how much you've self-used, and that's highlighted in yellow, and how much you've exported in blue. In blue, and so you can see that I've charged the battery four kilowatt hours a day. We used uh, 1.86 direct from the solar panels, and we exported that. Uh, 8.44 and it splits it down into a percentage based on that it shows us our overall consumption and how much is from our own energy so that's the four point um the four kilowatt hour discharge plus the 1.86 self-use and then we have the import on the other side and again this is split down by percentage um, we can change it from day to day so we can look back by clicking these arrows and changing the the, the date and also you can do like a monthly view which changes the uh, graph so you can see over the month we generated uh, 112 kilowatt hours um, how much we consumed and we can do that for the year as well the app is a little bit slow and um, does um, uh, sometimes uh, have a few problems with freezing but most of the time is pretty good. Uh, one thing that has been good from uh, the point of view of the user, I've gone back to the daily view once it gets there, um, is, and this was, it came across an update which came around on the um, 9th of November, so last week, um, is that if you watch my, pre my, or my early videos on how much I'm saving each month from back in August, um, I said that from the energy import and the export, it was only to one significant figure or one whole number. So it wasn't particularly precise. They've now changed that by updating all this to be to two decimal places. 
and as far as I can see it works it's quite close to the value I'm calculating using my smart meter if we scroll down um, even further we get the graph of what this um, the solar power production was today so as you can see due, close to midday when the sun is at its highest you're getting most power if you click on it you can move this uh, little uh, box around which we have information in it and that gives you whatever time you've landed on uh, specific information about that so you always get you should get this nice dome shape if there's good um, power generation for the day and you can see when we get cloud cover and where it drops off this graph also splits it down into power to the uh, to the grid and also the battery charging and that changes it to different colors and obviously the self-use the graph below that is our actual consumption so you can see up to about nine o'clock um, we've got very little power consumption as you can see it's actually quite wave like so that's the fridge really clicking on on and off and then after that we start using the power as we wake up one thing that is a bit annoying with this app is we have recently gone back an hour in the UK and the app hasn't updated. I've tried changing the time zone on it, but it doesn't seem to have an effect. So this app, so if we look at this graph for our uh, generation, it looks like it's starting at uh, nine o'clock. It actually started at eight o'clock and then uh, it finishes at six o'clock when actually it finished at five o'clock because that's when sunset was. So that's um, one thing that could be improved. Um, below that is something that we don't use because we're not on Octopus uh, Agile, but this actually shows you what the Octopus Agile prices would be uh, throughout the day and how much you could export for at different times. So it's nice to have, and as we probably will be moving on to a tariff like that in the future, it's something to bear in mind. Um, in this app we also have the info so this just allows you to set up where you are what type of plant you have and your devices so you can see the data logger the inverter information um, and if you click on this inverter you can get into more details here and it sets up the parameters if we go back uh, we look at the data logger so this is the uh, dongle that plugs into the bottom of the um, the inverter. Okay, that's not coming up. Uh, it looks like we've now uh, over come to the uh, end of what this app is actually working for. So that's probably a good time to finish this video. Anyway, if you like this video, please subscribe. Uh, please hit that uh, like icon, and um, I'll see you again soon.